Are big streamers ruining VTubing for everybody else? Are these big streamers doing this just because of a trend? Those are the things I want to talk about in today's video. Are these big streamers hurting our community or are they actually helping us out in a way? My name is Anubis Lips and I am your VTuber Senpai. On this channel, we cover anything everything VTubing and soon to be VR related. So if you happen to like today's video, make sure you smash that like button. Leave a comment down below what you thought about this video or ideas for future videos. And well, if you happen to like this content on this channel, please consider subscribing. I do have a goal of a thousand subscribers by the end of 2021. So if you happen to like my content, please smash that subscribe button. And well, let's get into it. All right, I'm going to bring up some points right now and you got to decide if they're good points, bad points, and if you agree or disagree with them. Let's get into the first one. I feel what PewDiePie and Pokemon are doing is actually really, really good for the VTubing community, mainly because it brings new and fresh eyes to the fandom. People that normally wouldn't have ever even heard about VTubing now get to experience something new and different, which is fantastic for you and I because more people, more eyes, more exposure. And well, it gives you a chance to be discovered by a whole new audience that wouldn't have discovered you prior. And the best thing about this is they're just not exposing this just on one platform. PewDiePie is exposing this on, well, YouTube, while Pokemon is exposing this on, well, Twitch. So I'll use an example like myself. When PewDiePie went live as a VTuber on YouTube, my YouTube subscriber shot through the roof. It was crazy on how many subscribers I got within, well, basically three days. It was fantastic. And what that does is allows uh, VTubers like us to grow, channels like mine to grow, gives us a chance to grow because what he does is basically make people want to find other VTubers, find out how to VTube. And I just feel that's just amazing and something we really want as a community. What a lot of people that I've noticed on, well, for example, Twitter are really scared of is that a lot of these people are going to be invading their space, taking their limelight. And because there is a lot of new VTubers out there, it's going to be really, really oversaturated. And quite honestly, I don't think that's going to be the case at all. If you're willing to put in that work, if you're willing to put in that time and sacrifice things here and there, to grow your VTubing channel, whether it be on YouTube or Twitch or Facebook, whatever, you're gonna prevail over a lot of these people. One thing you gotta remember is a lot of these people are gonna start VTubing and they're gonna stop eventually over time because they just find out it's not for them. Another huge concern I see people bringing up all the time is that it's gonna make the VTubing community a lot more toxic. And honest to God, that's really not true. I'm really sad to report, but it's already toxic as it is. We have a huge divide in the VTubing community. We have one side of the community that's like, hey, come join us. Let's have fun, some fun. Welcome. Have some cookies. But we have the other side of the community that's like, I don't want you here. I hate you. You're just toxic. Blah, 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 blah. And I'm sorry to say, but that side of the community that's being super toxic, you ain't being better than what you're saying is coming our way. I really encourage people that think that PewDiePie's and Pokemon's community being super toxic, give them a chance, see what happens. So far, Pokemon's community really hasn't impacted the VTubing community in any negative way whatsoever. And so far, PewDiePie's community hasn't impacted our VTubing community in a negative way whatsoever. I actually argue that what they've done has actually enhanced it quite a bit. As I said, my channel has grown, many other channels have grown, and many other people's Twitch streams and YouTube streams has also grown. So quite honestly, I don't see any of this toxicity. I don't see anything negative happening here. And in fact, I see a lot of growth all the way around. So now I'm going to pass the floor to you. 
What are your thoughts? What are your opinions? Did I miss anything? Did I get something wrong? Leave a comment down below and tell me your thoughts about this. Tell me what you think. Tell me the positives, the negatives. And let's have a very nice and constructive conversation about this. No point going around and insulting each other over any of this whatsoever. But let's have a nice chat. Again, my name is Anubis Lives. I stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Come on by. Say hi. Let's talk about anime, gaming, VTubing, and well, this very topic. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.